Welcome back to the first episode of quarter two of Cold Coffee. Let's start off with the birthdays. Let's go check out the sports section with Karime Gonzalez. Hello, Cold Coffee. Welcome back. This is Karime. For today's sports section, I want to talk to you about the strangest sports I have ever heard. Wife carrying. Born in Finland. It's pretty self-explanatory. A man must carry his wife through an obstacle course as fast as he can. There are some restrictions. The course must be 253.5 meters long with one dry and two water obstacles. The wife must weigh at least 49 kilograms and if dropped, the man faces a 15 second penalty. The world championships are held in July and the winner gets his wife's weight in beer. Then underwater hockey is a form of hockey played on the floor of a pool and it's a non-contact sport. Players attempt to guide the lead puck toward their offensive end of the rink using what look like knock hockey sticks. Of course, each player is unable to possess the puck for very long as they must constantly sing back to the service to draw air into their snorkel. Very interesting, Karime. Now let's go and check out the news with Dominic Dupont and Inez Garcia. Welcome to the Daily Dose. Your source to the latest updates. This week's latest updates. The second and final presidential debate was far less chaotic than the first. Many claim it was because new rules allowed muting of candidates' mics when the other was speaking, or because President Trump's advisors urged him to play it cool during one of the last major events of the election season. Democrat Joe Biden is currently leading Donald Trump in the national polls as the U.S. approaches its 2020 presidential election. On November 3, Americans will vote to elect their next president. This past Sunday, October 25th, an earthquake was formed in Tapachula, Chiapas. It had a magnitude of 5.2 and luckily, Centro de Alerta de Tsunamis de la Secretaría de Marina reported that the formation of a tsunami was not to be expected. Hopes are rising that a coronavirus vaccine will be approved by the end of this year, with healthcare workers receiving their first dose in early 2021. It should be known by the end of November or early December if a vaccine was safe and effective. Now let's go ahead and check out Generation Points with this fun TikTok challenge. Okay. Este, Siria, eh, Sabrina Carpenter, Sandía, Sephora, Serpiente. México, Mario Bote, Maracuyá, McDonald's, Mamut. México, Michael Jackson, Mamey, Mango, y mapache. Es Tailandia, Taylor Swift, Toronja, Toshiba y Toro. Hello, high school once again. This is Mr. John giving you a friendly reminder that this is the last week to sign up for the AP exam only option. The very last day is actually Monday, November 2nd. So if you are still thinking about it, now's the time to look around at the course offerings and see what you may be interested in. The first thing you need to do is create a college board account, which most of you have. If you don't have it, I can easily send you the guides. It's quite simple. And I can even zoom with you to make sure you do it correctly. To give you an idea, there are 167 students currently taking 289 AP exams. 12 students have signed up for the exam only option. And these are the ones they've signed up for so far. Art history, English language, German language, Spanish language, French language, computer science A and biology. These are all of the options that you may sign up for, but you need to do it this week. If you're not sure how to do it, or if you have any questions in general, this is my email. Please feel free to ask me anything. Also, if you are a AP student and you're currently enrolled in a class, you have about one more week than the exam only students do. But please, if you have not registered and you have not joined your class on AP in the College Board website, please make sure you do that. Ask your teacher if you're not sure, ask me if you're not sure, but that is extremely important as well because if you don't join your class in the College Board website, 
we cannot order an exam for you. And that is coming up as well. That's the second week of November that all of this needs to be done by. So please, if you have any questions, AP exam only students or regular AP students, please contact me. Please talk to your teacher to make sure you are officially joined in that classroom. Also, we have great news for you. Despite the situation, we are having Noche Bohemia. Just scan this QR code to sign up if you want to participate. If you have any questions, email Pepe Sandoval. That was it for today's episode. We hope you enjoy and we hope to see you next time. Goodbye.